Hi, I'm the rap critic. Let's talk about the election. Oh, no, no, not about, you know, the important stuff, but about celebrity endorsements and how they can go horribly wrong. And no, I'm not talking about ludicrous. I'm talking about Young Jeezy with his uh, political song, My President is Black. First off, I have to give credit to uh, Jeezy for uh, calling the song that, seeing that at the time the song was written, Obama wasn't president yet. But, you know, that's a pretty ballsy move, so uh, I give him points for that. But let's see why it was so important that it was named number 16, I think, in Rolling Stone's 100 Greatest Songs of 2008 by looking at the most important part of a political song, the lyrics. Okay, you lose points for not actually writing the song. Whoa! That's enough political jargon and social commentary for one song. I think you need to balance that out with a little bit of blatant commercialism. Thank you. Really, Jeezy? Really? You would rather be cursed by a god than have the color of your rims not match the color of your car. You see, kids, this is what happens when all you do is rap about material items. It makes it pretty much impossible to rap about anything else. Okay, that, that, that sucks. Uh, I'm sorry, wasn't this song supposed to be about a president or something? But, well, at least he's getting deep on us, you know? Uh, maybe he'll get more personal about himself and, and reveal a tortured soul that just wants love. Random drug reference. Thank you. Oh yeah, this song was about a president, wasn't it? It also had something to do with a car, but uh... Black, blue, green, gray... What, what is this, the rapping rainbow? What? A pun put in for the specific purpose of mentioning cocaine. Fun. But I really don't think you understand the uh, horribleness of this line, so I'll elaborate. The double meaning. Now, the first meaning was that uh, he would like one of us to catch a great white shark. The second meaning is that we catch a lot of cocaine. Probably up the nose. In both contexts, it's just weird. I mean, isn't this supposed to be a song about Obama? Okay, let's just break it down. In the first context of the meeting, who do you know that listens to Young Jeezy that also wants to catch sharks? I mean, this is random. And secondly, how mean is that to say what he just said in the second context of it? I mean, he might as well say, Hi, I'm having a great day, and I hope my night goes just as well. I don't know how you're doing, but I hope you have a severe cocaine problem. Who knew? Not me, since at this point, I really don't have any idea what you're talking about. Yes, but just because so far you've only mentioned Obama's ethnicity, does that make this a political song? Yeah, but after eight years of Bush jokes, you know, making fun of him is really getting stale. Okay, that was kind of funny. Yeah, living up to your full potential. What loser does that? You know, just because you put one word at the end of a line and then put the same word at the end of the next line to rhyme with it, but with using a different pronunciation, it really doesn't change the fact that you're rhyming a word with the same word. Oh yeah, this song was about Obama, wasn't it? Wow, you can almost tell the writers of the song were sitting there going, Oh man, we need to bring Obama into this song at least once. So erase this line about sipping Don Perignon wine and replace it with Obama for mankind. We're so political. Now that we've dealt with two minutes of Young Jeezy, can we get to Nas? Yeah.
No, 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 stay on target, focus, focus! He ain't a politician, honey's a politician. Really, Nas? Really? You know, that last line falls squarely in between corny and corny. Altogether, though, I'd give this song a 3 out of 5, because it does have a nice superhero anthem-like beat, but Jeezy's rhymes seem to be pretty much just a normal rap song. Just a normal commercial rap song. Except every now and then they mention Obama. Two times. Uh, at least until Nas' verse. But even his rhymes get weighed down by stuff like referring to strippers as politicians. Oh, God. I'm the rap critic. I analyze the rhymes because no one else does.